everybody, I'm Jasmine, I'm an artist at the Whitworth and today I'm going to be taking you through a few step-by-step -step activities inspired by the Whitworth's collection. For our first activity, we're going to have a look at a floral wallpaper from the Whitworth's collection and we're going to do a collage activity inspired by this. For the activity, you're going to need some coloured paper, some scissors and some glue. Okay, so we're going to start with the stems. The first thing we need to do is cut four long thin green strips of paper like this and then we are going to start with one of these and the first job is to put a little bit of glue on the back of our first stem this is going to be then stuck down at the bottom of the page like this so half of it is kind of flapping up and half of it is stuck down at the bottom then we take the top end and we twist the stem so it curls up to form kind of a 3D um, collage. Then we put a little bit of glue on the top end and stick that down to make the first stem of our flower. The second stem, we start in the same way. So you put a blob of glue on one end again. This time we stick that one down at the bottom and then we push the um, stem up so it creates this 3D bridge. And then again, you put a blob of glue on the black back again and stick that down so it's kind of flapping up like this. Our third stem, we are gonna fold into a concertina. So we fold it forwards and backwards on itself again and again to create this kind of zigzag 3D stem. Once you have done your folding, when you open it out, it should kind of zigzag out in a 3D way. Once you're happy with this, you put a blob of glue on the back again, stick that down at one end, and then your other blob of glue on the top, and then you stick that down as well. Our final stem, we are going to stick down one end, just like we did at the start again, but this time we're going to curl it round so it sticks down in a different place rather than straight up at the top. So you could have it going out to the side, it could be folding down, it could be going across one of your other stems, wherever you feel like you want it to be. So once we're happy with our stems, we're going to work on the flowers next. So the first step with the flowers is we need to cut out four circles either all the same colours or different colours, whatever you feel like. So for our first flower, we are going to take the circle and we're going to scrunch it up into a ball. So scrunch it up nice and tightly, get loads of creases going on in that circle. And then we're going to slowly open it back out. So when we're opening it, I want you to try and keep all those creases that you've made inside that flower. And then what you should be able to do is turn it over and put a little blob of glue on the back in the middle of that circle and then this is going to stick on top of our first stem. So what should happen is the sides should kind of curl up around the edge a little bit like the petals of a flower. So for our second flower we're going to take the second circle and we're going to cut tiny little um, lines into the edge of that circle going all the way around like this so right the way around the edge of your circle then once you've got all these little flaps i want you to fold one flap in then leave one hanging out one fo fold one in leave one out and work your way around that circle folding one in leaving one out until you get to the end okay then you should be able to kind of open these back up and again they look a little bit like 3D petals. So once you're happy with that flower you can put a blob of glue on the back just like we did before and stick that one down. Our third flower we're going to um, take pinches in from the side and fold it in to the middle. So again, we're trying to make the look of petals going all the way around the edge of the flower. So little pinches coming into the middle from the edge like this to create this kind of 3D 
um, flower with all the petals. And again, once you're happy, you put a little blob of glue on the back and then you stick that one down. And again, you can just fold it in a little bit more if you need to. For our last flower, I want you to take your scissors and we're going to cut a wavy edge going all the way around the edge of that circle. Again, we're trying to create the look of petals in the um, paper. So we're going all the way around the edge to create a wobbly edge around the flower. And again, we're just going to push down in the middle to help those petals kind of stick up from the edge. So once you're happy with the last flower, a blob of glue on the back again, stick that one down on your last, um, on your last stem and just help it up again if you need to. So once you've done this, if you wanted to, you could cut small circles out of a different color to stick in the middle of each of those flowers to create the centers. Maybe you could add some leaf shoots coming out from the bottom for your finishing touches. So once you've had those finishing touches, you should end up with your final artwork inspired by the wallpaper collection from the Whitworth.